Uh, look at Seattle during fire season. Well, we're not quite in fire season yet, but there is a fire going on. It's crazy. I have gone to Barnes and Noble forever. My mom's had like bought me a membership every Christmas since like high school. I've never heard of their annual book haul. But today we're gonna enjoy it. This place looks fancy already. It really does. Yo, this is the fanciest Barnes and Nobles I have ever been in in my life. Which we're gonna end up coming back to it because you can actually get to the mall through here. Really? Let's go book. Yeah. Also, a Dungeons and Dragons cookbook. <sighs> I think Mike actually has this. Trolls cookbook. Um, oh. Black Panther. An unofficial Disney Parks cookbook. The official oh, wow. Disney Parks cookbook. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> okay. It tells you the people, stars hollow, casual hookups. It was a one date event, nothing. <sighs> oh my god. That's pretty cute. <gasps> the sandal! Oh. This is really cool. This might be something I need to buy for you one day. This is oh, really cool. my God. It's a really cool idea. Y'all, we're making a beeline. We're supposed to be going that way. Byron saw. Look what else they have. Which, technically, we did see it from the outside when we were out here, but I forgot about it. We did! Yeah, because we drove around the back when we had Yes, to to when we were doing delivery back in February, we saw it, but we could never find it. And Byron only came in to grab food, so I didn't come in with him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh! I just this how this could fit on a tree. Yeah, there's no way. Here we go! Oh my god, that reminds me of one I had when I was a kid, but it was a snow globe. Mm. But a little train? Is that the one you said I would like? Yeah. Oh my god, I can't take Hallmark anymore. Yeah, the pumpkin looks like a tornado inside. Oh my god, I love these lanterns. I need one. Burn likes that one better. I kind of like the other one though. It's cute though. This one? You don't even want best what you want. You think she get a I don't know. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so cute. She really likes it. I really like it, but I didn't see anywhere that you could actually buy it. So we made it to half price books. I'll tell you about this. It's like the best thing. Oh god, for $11? That's know. not bad. This might actually get bad. I think I watched one of them with Kyle. So the more and more I start using public restrooms again, guys, it's the more and more I remember why I hate public restrooms all along. Luckily it wasn't one of the food courts. I hate bathrooms at the food courts. But this one wasn't much better, but I guess it was better. Yes. I mean, they are cool, but. I was like, oh, I got one section I wanna go check out. Cause I'm kinda like, eh. I'm more about the Barnes and Noble show today. There's the Seattle edition. That's hilarious. Still kick myself we didn't buy the Port Charlotte edition. I mean, Seattle's a little different than where we actually live. Who's Starbucks and Boeing are the big ones. Yeah, makes sense. Of course. I don't eat sushi, but I'm amazed by the little sushi trains. It's so cool. Hey, what's the song? Bye. Bye. He's lucky. Wow, it's all Seattle. That's really cool. Oh my god, they have Beauty and the Beast. You already have that? No, I have the skinny version. Oh, but it's Beauty and the Beast and other fairy tales. Right. So, yeah. Here, I like to open books that are already open. Can you open it? Oh, I don't want to get caught. I feel like I'm gonna get glitter on my hands just turn yes. pages. Oh wow. What are the other stories in there? The frog king, wonderful sheep. Any that we would know? No. Because she's not from the Grimm's no, brother. So yeah, so that's Never why. Any of these stories. I found some I might get Anthony's baby because they're really into football. And that's cute. I was checking out, I got three books. A queen book. A prince book written by James Patterson is really weird to me that I want it for a while. And then I got Elliot Page's book, so super excited. You kind of walk around a little bit. We still drive around a little bit. We'll talk after you get off the camera. Byron doesn't want to say what he has to say on camera. I mean, it's. I'm joking. No, he. All right, let's talk. No, so what I was he doesn't want to say that he's dragging me back to half price books because he oh. wants to get a Dungeons and Dragons no, book. No, Anyways, so like I said in the story, I ended up with three books. Which is a nice little book haul. All 50% off. And all that, new books too. Yeah, all new books. These weren't any like old books. Coffee. Oh, it looks old. That's crazy. Side note, I got my mask to say. Walked in and broke. It's cutting into my eye though. <laughs> and there's Bellevue in the smoke. 
My phone actually told me when we got here that air quality is not that great up here. Look, they got a pretty little fountain. A little park over there. We were gonna check it out, but one smoke and two. We already walked, we walked more around that mall than we originally thought we were going to. So. Oh, wow. I can't even see. Oh my god. I don't know if this is the same bridge we. Oh, poor Seagull. The bridge seems nice enough. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Pretty wild. That is crazy. You know this bookshelf was supposed to be my new bookshelf when I run out of space over there? It's completely full. I forgot what that book was. Those are my red books. Well, guess what you want to do. Get a new bookshelf. Got it. Apparently the only ancestors he doesn't know are Chance and Ambrose. Like all that magic snubbery. Adelaide back with her purple hair. Oh goodness. going on in my house right now. And now everyone can eat inside, guys. Sorry. Nobody wants to eat outside, apparently. No, it's like too hot. I'll just be standing up. <laughs> Alright, Luna. Yeah, I'm broke. Yeah, so it's like, I'll come sit with you. Well, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you like, I got something to tell you in private, Dad. I'm not sure about coming through Yeah, I would be too. Oh. Alright. Hey, look, look, look! Oh, that's what's in there. Lee! Lee, you having a good day? <laughs> Just hanging out, causing trouble. You know, for you. Chance, you know no one can see the TV with you standing right there. And no one can hear when you're talking. Talk. Oh, it's their first anniversary, and Noel's like, I'm reading. Hey, they're not going to be able to give you food if you don't. Aaron just got a call from the vets. Parker's went for his appointment Friday, like I told you guys last week he was going. And Smuckers has slight high blood pressure. He really didn't think it was anything to be super concerned concerned about. But Aaron will go tomorrow to pick up the meds and also talk to her, see if maybe there's anything we can change about his diet or walking or anything, if there's anything that needs to be changed because we want my key to be good. Natalie looks like the kind of employee that you have to micromanage a lot. She's just sitting there staring at Noah right. I mean, she doesn't have anybody check out. That's legit, but it's just creepy. We also said we're going to rename the shop because we're selling not just books, but about random stuff. So it's going to be Noah's knickknacks. We're liking a lot better than when we did the clothing store. Yeah, the clothing store was so much of a pain. Yeah, I mean, we did a two back-to-back -back generations. Or yeah, you also felt pressured to have to create new outfits every time instead of restocking the same ones. So now we're switching out items every so often with other items. Like, so, like, it's Halloween, Thanksgiving, so we're putting more fall stuff out. Christmas will change up for that, too, so. Oh, Natalie's doing what she does best. Oh my goodness, Natalie's slacking off again. Natalie wasn't even a reader, right? No, not necessarily. Neighborhood Stories is on. We just had our first casualty in this family. Jamal Biggs has passed. That's Haven's husband. So her mom died when she was a kid. And then her mom came back to life when she was an adult. And now her husband's dead. Hopefully she fills the spot with another cat, not another husband. I hate when they get married late in life. There's the uh, onions. I mean, oh. tomato onion jam. Mmm, tomatoes sound good though. There's some buns, the meat is over there. Some Hello Fresh. It's final results. And no, I did not eat any of that onion tomato paste, whatever he was making. <laughs> jam. It was good. It was just a little sweet for me. Got a little sugar in it. His parents were paying attention to him, so Lee took himself on down to Uncle Solomon's house. Oh. <gasps> oh, look at him! Looking nervous, though. Looking straight up nervous. Look at little eyes. What, what are y'all looking at? Yeah, look at him. Oh, get it, Lee! Your dad's not gonna be happy that you're doing this about adults uh, presents. Yes. Oh, that's a good first experience. That was very that nice. Was really I told her to adopt a cat, but Haven was like, "No, I want to go have a one night stand but with." It's Kingston Bonhart. Yeah, look at that long hair though. Yeah. 
yeah. The East London Barnharts. You're a mess. The West London Barnharts. <laughs> They are trash. Oh my god, the Daniel family got shook this generation. Noelle just died, which is Noah's sister, which we just saw her out on their anniversary. I know her and, uh, what's his name? So cute, yeah. They Sonny. were Alberto. Sonny's his twin. They look just alike. Also, we were having her test to see if she was pregnant. And, like, it was taking her forever to go potty, and I was like, why? Apparently her son was coming up to talk to her. And now she's embarrassed. So there's my mommy, and there's Barnes Frankenstein. Good job, PetSmart. You guys make hard cookies. Oh, look at Barnes flyers. <laughs> yeah, I gotta clean these off the back here. The boys are like, when's it gonna fall? Oh, Jesus. So, oh. Cover my mommy. Hmm? I know. Oh, my mommy. Your mommy shattered. At least Frankenstein, you can still see him. My mommy's like gone. We just watched the challenge. Tyler's made it through another elimination. He keeps getting votes though. I don't know who's three voting votes, for him. Three consistent votes. Yeah. But we did lose Lewis. Yeah. Which he was like second after Tyler, but. Well, we liked Lewis. But I liked Lewis. Lewis. He was a good guy. We loved him on The Amazing Race. Yes. And also, I think Chris cheated. You should not be allowed to pull people's fingers off, but whatever. And I'm glad to see Amanda go, but I'm mad at Desi. I was rooting for her too. So overall, the season's good so it's good far. because the rookies are, well, we'll see how it flows Some out. of the rookies, started, the red team kind of fell apart tonight. Well, they always said, for as much as Josh gets into it, he's really good at politicking. He's gotten better at it. I feel like he just would not, he's like, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. Like, no, because then he made Michelle start thinking. Someone else also switched their vote. I think Tiffany, when she realized that she wasn't gonna win. She voted for a random third person. She'd have to vote for Desi. The baby's been doing, well, stuck in the mess animation. Looks like a little Tasmanian devil. That's, That's actually kind of cool. So Looks like she's like a superhero. <laughs> Dust woman. Maybe. Uh, Chance Blackwood Edo has asked me on a date. Should I say yes? Chance is a hot commodity, man. <laughs> he is. Chance is Victoria amazing. wanted to hook up with him. Now this guy Shagira wants to say yes to a date with him. Uh, that's a good idea. It's definitely not a good idea, even if it's the uh, yes, he's because he's, he's also a klepto and a little cray cray. Okay, right, y'all. Tonight I was sitting by the door. I actually, it was my desk. You all of a sudden, like it just started like getting in my throat, which our air quality actually got worse as the night went on. Finally finished my book. I only have the epilogue left at the end. But the book book's done. The boys are back. The boys are back in town. How's the weather? It feels good outside, but the snow. It smells bad? You can smell it. Seattle was officially the worst uh, city in the world today for air quality. Tokatai, the killer whale, orca in Miami, passed away last week. And it's really sad because I was super excited. She was going to get to come home to her native land to outlive her life after she lived in that horrible captivity. I wish they had moved quicker on it, but you know, they dragged their feet. But everyone has a great week ahead, had a great weekend. We'll see you guys super, super early Friday morning for the first game of the FIBA World Cup. Australia, I believe we're playing Finland. Yes.